In this video, you'll be seeing me put sides on one of my trailers. This is a 4x8 sheet of treated plywood that I'm going to cut into strips that I'll use for the sides. I originally wanted to use solid boards, but that lumber was a bit cost prohibitive. So I went with plywood instead. Plywood is half of the price that solid lumber would be. They aren't cut perfectly, but they're good enough for my purpose. And here's the trailer that we're working with. It ain't much, but it's mine. It was originally my aunt's, and she used it to haul canoes with. It came to me with a rotted out plywood top. I put the 2x6 deck on there and had been using it to haul limbs and whatnot, but now I need some sides. As you can tell, I have all kinds of distractions going on around me. It's a surprise I haven't cut off my fingers. Before I actually started this project, I worked out most of the numbers in my head and I knew that one sheet of plywood would be just enough. I knew going into this project that it wouldn't be a particularly difficult project to do, but it was a neat one because this trailer, unlike most other trailers, has six sides. So I thought, because it was so unique, I thought that I'd post it and let everyone see.
friend, here's what we've done so far. I think it looks pretty neat. Okay. Here it comes. And there it goes. Oops. At this point, the sun was starting to go down and it was starting to get cold. So I figured I'd hold off until another day. The sun makes things feel so much better. take this small board and I put it underneath of what I'm going to be working on so that the screws that I drive in will go in straight and I won't have any crooked wonky angles. It fits like a glove. At this point, I'd like to mention that you're welcome to write me a message on any ideas you feel like you'd like to see on this channel. I have a plethora of things that I'm interested in all of which I am a novice at and a master of none in.
This piece is going to be used as a brace for the back. The back board will actually not be screwed in. It will slide down into tracks. Since it's a tilting trailer, I'd like to be able to remove the back so that I can roll things onto it if I need to. This is the reason that I didn't continue the boards going along the outside of the trailer like I did with the front two panels. Not enough room. There are two pieces per right side and per left side so I have to connect those two together. I'm just going to angle some screws in there and it should be good enough if I put enough screws. Fingers crossed. These pieces are going to hold the back in place. The back will slide right in between the pieces. I'm using a scrap piece of board here as a bit of a spacer. I don't want that gap to be too big or too small. I want to be able to slide the back in right like that. And that was a bit too snug. I'll give it a little twist there and it'll loosen things up. There we go. It's 
time for one last cut. And a perfect fit. Here's the finished product. I kind of like it. Looks a bit like a coffin to me. Pretty cool thing to be pulling around. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I appreciate you watching and if you like any of this video or any other video that I've done, please like and subscribe. And the link to my Patreon is in my bio if you'd like to support this channel. There are many more interesting videos to come.